Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Mike Whitmer, and I called today's reading House of Worship. When Britain's House of Commons was bombed in World War II, Prime Minister Winston Churchill told Parliament they must rebuild it according to its original design. It must be small, so debates would remain face to face. It must be oblong rather than semicircular, allowing politicians to move around the center. This preserved Britain's party system, where left and right faced each other across the room, requiring careful thought before switching sides. Churchill concluded, We shape our buildings, and afterwards, our buildings shape us. God seems to agree. Seven chapters in Exodus give instructions on building the tabernacle, and six more describe how Israel did it. God cared about their worship. When the people entered the courtyard, the gleaming gold and the tabernacle's colorful curtains dazzled them. The altar of burnt offering and water basin reminded them of the cost of their forgiveness. The tabernacle contained a lampstand, bread table, altar of incense, and Ark of the Covenant. Each item held great significance. God doesn't give us detailed instructions for our worship space as He did with Israel. Yet our worship is no less vital. Our very being is to be a tabernacle set apart for Him to dwell in. May everything we do remind us of who He is and what He does. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Exodus chapter 26, verse 30, through chapter 27, verse 8. Set up the tabernacle according to the plan shown you on the mountain. Make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and finely twisted linen, with cherubim woven into it by a skilled worker. Hang it with gold hooks on four posts of acacia wood, overlaid with gold, and standing on four silver bases. Hang the curtain from the clasps and place the Ark of the Covenant Law behind the curtain. The curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. Put the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant Law in the most holy place. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it on the south side. For the entrance to the tent, Make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer. Make gold hooks for this curtain, and five posts of acacia wood, overlaid with gold, and cast five bronze bases for them. Build an altar of acacia wood, three cubits high. It is to be square, five cubits long and five cubits wide. Make a horn at each of the four corners, so that the horns and the altar are of one piece, and overlay the altar with bronze. Make all its utensils of bronze, its pots to remove the ashes, and its shovels, sprinkling bowls, meat forks, and fire pans. Make a grating for it, a bronze network, and make a bronze ring at each of the four corners of the network. Put it under the ledge of the altar, so that it is halfway up the altar. Make poles of acacia wood for the altar, and overlay them with bronze. The poles are to be inserted into their rings, so they will be on two sides of the altar when it is carried. Make the altar hollow out of boards. It is to be made just as you were shown on the mountain. Let's pray. Father, you are worthy of our best worship. May all we say and do bring glory to you. In your Son's name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.